Hey guys, it's Haf. I am back again with another comparison of my nail polish collection. This time I am doing yellows. This is pretty much the smallest area of my collection. It's not that I don't like yellow, I actually quite do. Uh, I just tend to be kind of picky about which kind of yellows I actually have. Um, yeah, so um, it'll still take forever to do this video. <laughs> We'll get started. I have a whole bunch of pairs and I have one trio which is what I am going to start with. So the trio we have are these three lovely polishes. These are my palest yellows. This one here is from BYS. It is called Lucky Ducky. This one here is Lemonade from Orly. And this one is round and round in circles from Rimmel's 60 second line. It's really hard to read that. As usual, I'm filming at a ridiculous time of the day. Like 4.30 in the morning or something. Um, ignore how bad my swatch wheel looks. I literally have no swatch wheels left and I'm recycling and... They're looking a little beat up. So first of all we will do Lucky Ducky. And sorry if I sound a little snotty. I am not 100% well at the moment. So like most yellow creams, it's a little sheer on the first coat. But we'll see how it builds up. Lemonade from Orly is one of my favourite yellow polishes. It does tend to dry a lot darker than it looks in the bottle. I gotta say. Um, just goes on darker than it looks like it actually is. It's much more opaque than the BYS one on the first coat. And round and round in circles. It's a much nicer brush. Um, formula's a little tiny bit sheerer than the Orly. And I don't know if you can actually see it, but round and round in circles has a very slight shimmer in it. Very slight. Next up we're going to look at a couple of, they're basically neons, but they're like jelly neons. Um, the only other real neon that I have is Orly's Glow Stick, and I don't have anything else like that. So, Because um, it's it's an almost green yellow. Um, but these two, which are freaking my camera out just a little. This one is Citrus from Ultra 3. And this one does not have a name, it is just B305. From B Nails, this is the company that I buy most of my acrylic nail supplies from. This is like their house brand. So this, I haven't put a white undie on for this. I mean, these are not clear swatch wheels, so. So that is one coat of citrus. Not the worst performing polish I've ever had. Um, it does like it does better for, from an undie, let's face it, because it is slightly jellyish. And this is kind of a this is like a super jelly. <laughs> so this is the bee nails one. Not really the same kind of yellow. Um, there's more green in this Ultra 3 one. Next we have... From Maybelline Colour Show, we have Fierce and Tangy. does not want to focus tonight. There we 
Okay. And again from Ultra 3, we have Honolulu. Uh, oh, pretty similar. If you see weird, what looks like crazing on them, it's because I um, put a base coat thing down, and sometimes it does weird things. Um, okay, so Fierce and Tangy from Maybelline Color Show. It's such a lovely, bright yellow cream. Honolulu. From Ultra 3. There's another lovely, super bright yellow. Don't look too much alike at the moment, but we'll see after the second coat. The Ultra 3 has a more opaque formula on the first coat. If you put it on thick enough, you could probably do it in one coat. Which, as you know, is very unusual for a yellow. Next, we have this one here, which is one of the newest polishes in my collection. I bought it from Target the other day. Uh, this is Banana Pop from L'Oreal. And this here is from Savvy by Designer Brands. Um, this one is in Sydney, as in the uh, capital city of New South Wales. So we'll start with the L'Oreal. I like the brushes on these little L'Oreals. Relatively good formula. And Sydney, straight away you can see there's nowhere near the kind of opaque that the L'Oreal is. Okay, next we have from L'Oreal, uh, we have Banana Rama Love, which is actually kind of jellyish, and we have Sunlit Grass from Revlon's newer perfumery. So, Banana Rama Love. The other bottle is in my way. Um, as you can see, it is very sheer in that first coat. But I was expecting that, so I'm not surprised. And sunlit grass. opaque and it's looking more like um, maybe Honolulu because it's got a lot more white in it and of course I dimmed the L'Oreal um, yeah so they're not really looking alike at the moment next to uh, these two, this one here is from BYS and it is called The Right Bright. And this one from Ultra 3 is Frangipani. So we'll start with the BYS, which is classed as a neon in their line, but it's not really 
It's not the most neon polish that I have. It's also pretty see-through. It probably would benefit quite a bit from a proper white undie. But it's not so bright. And frangipani. is a lot more opaque but their tone is pretty similar and lastly two that are well similar concept but uh, probably vastly different in other ways colors sort of similar this is super old Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. I see I've used quite a bit of it. Uh, this one is Lemonhead. Uh, does not want to focus. It's basically just a super pale uh, yellow with shimmer in it. And even though I shook it, it doesn't look like it got shook. So you can tell how old it is, it's sort of separating out a bit. And this one here is a newer polish. Uh, this is from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer, which is an Australian indie which was in production for a while, but unfortunately she's not at the moment. And this one is Lemon Fizz, which is a super lovely, sparkly, sparkly goodness. So we'll start with Lemon Head, which I think is a fabulous name for an old polish person. And yes, it is pretty sheer on that first coat. Um, when I was, like, when I bought these, I wasn't looking for polishes that were, like, too in your face. So all of the ones that I have that are like that are all kind of sheer. And Lemon Fizz. First time I ever put this nail polish on, I managed to get it opaque in one coat. See how we do tonight. So this is Lemon Fizz. Oops, comes up a time paper. It says you can see it's probably what Lemonhead aspires to be. Um, it's almost opaque in one coat. Probably if you finessed it a little bit better than I did, you could probably get it opaque in one. Alright, so we will go back around. Okay, so Lucky Ducky from BYS. As you can see it's not, I mean, yeah, it's not really building up completely. I think it's probably one of those polishes if you wanted it completely opaque. You would need to do three coats of it. Um, but it is a super pale. You can see next to Lemonade it is super pale. It's not the palest yellow I suppose. You could probably go lighter than that. But it is quite yellow. And even though... Lemonade looks really light in the bottle. It, I found it always dries much brighter and darker than I was expecting. So this is the second coat. I've been using uh, Lemonade quite a bit because it's in my Project Polish Mini Edition. So it's kind of starting to get a little bit harder to use. And it's two coats of Lemonade from Orly. I really like that one, especially as it dries brighter than you think it's going to be, it just, it looks really cool. I've used it in quite a lot of nail arts as the background. And Rimmel's round and round in circles and I have a fluff on it. I prefer the brush 
of the Rimmel. Um, the formula is not quite as good as the Orly one, but then it's also got that little tiny bit of shimmer in it, which the Orly does not have. So the BYS is quite a bit lighter, but in terms of colour, um, the Rimmel and the Orly are actually quite similar. There's probably just a bit more white in the uh, Orly. It makes it just a touch brighter. And it also doesn't have the shimmer. Uh, that is those three. All pretty if you like a nice pale yellow. Okay, so citrus from Ultra 3. I'm considering I did not put an undy under that. Even though the, the swatch wheel is sort of white-ish. That covers incredibly well in two coats for neon. I have worn it on its own without white undies and been quite satisfied with it. And... What number is this? 305 from B Nails. It's nice and bright. It's just... It really does need an undie to make it look as good as it can like on the nail. It just doesn't perform that well. I was a little disappointed when I got it, quite honestly. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, but I often buy the yellow from a brand I don't know just to see what their formula is like on their yellow. I think it tells you a lot about the brand. Um, so whilst they're both super bright, um, the Ultra 3 Citrus is just brighter. <laughs> it might be a bit hard for you to tell. It appears that my camera is freaking out, if, according to the viewfinder. Um, but the Ultra 3 is just brighter. Um, this is kind of a little bit muted in some ways. And not quite as nice a tone. This has got a bit more sort of almost green in it. So that is those two. Then on to Fierce and Tangy from Maybelline Colour Show. This is actually kind of a watery formula. It's quite thin. And unfortunately sometimes with watery formulas they can get a little streaky and patchy as it moves around. And Honolulu from Ultra 3. Which basically just has a better formula. I like the Ultra 3. In this case, I prefer the Ultra 3. I like the Maybelline Color Show on the whole, but this one is just a little bit runnier than most of the other ones I've got. Whereas the Ultra 3, maybe because the Ultra 3 is a bit older. It's got a little bit more thickness to it. Colour-wise, are actually pretty similar, but the older three is just that touch brighter. Which, you know, a lot of times with yellow, that's what I'm going for, is bright, bright yellow. So, similar kind of tone, but not exactly the same. Around, we are on to Banana Pop from... Um, L'Oreal Brain Brain Fart This is actually a really nice formula I haven't actually worn this yet so I <laughs> uh, don't even think I'd swatched it yet So there you go I'm actually pretty impressed That was pretty good So yeah that's Banana Pop from L'Oreal Impressed with that one and Sydney by Savvy by DB is nice enough for what it is and the fact that it is very low cost um, but it is not like um, this L'Oreal there is a lot more white in the L'Oreal it's a lot more opaque formulas better 
um, yeah, the colours don't look the same. In fact, the um, Savvy by DB looks closer to Honolulu, to the naked eye. So, yeah. Though they're not really the same at all. So we go on to Banana Rama Love by L'Oreal. It's amazing how different two L'Oreal polishes can actually be. Because as you can see, this after two coats is still super duper shit. This is one of those polishes that you use for a jelly sandwich because you're never going to get it properly opaque. It just doesn't it doesn't have the ability to be properly opaque. Um, and Sunlit Grass from Revlon Parfumery. This is in one of the only cases where I prefer a Revlon Parfumery over another polish. It's actually one of the better formulas of all the ones that I've actually got. Um, I mean, that's basically opaque in two coats. Um, not exactly, I mean, maybe if this one was opaque, they'd look the same. But there's just so much more pigment in this one that they don't end up looking anything alike, even though in the bottle they look quite similar. Yeah, so not the same at all. And we have BYS's The Right Bright. Which, you know, they call it a neon, so I guess that's why the formula looks like it needs an undie to it. Um, but it's, uh, like, in terms of that one in comparison to the Ultra 3, the Ultra 3 is just so much more neon, quite frankly. Um, and then the Ultra 3 in Frangipani... which is basically just a lot more um, opaque. Didn't apply that very well. Um, it's, this colours are actually pretty similar in the end, um, but because this one is opaque and this one is sheer, they don't look 100% the same. Um, yeah. So kind of similar, but not the same. Lots of kind of similar, but not the same today. Which just goes to show you that whilst my yellow collection might be uh, limited, it's uh, a lot of them are fairly unique shades. So we go on to the last pair, which is Lemonhead. Uh, which... It's usually probably three coats to pretty much get it fully opaque. Has such a nice shimmer to it. I mean, I've loved this polish for years, so um, it's not like I'm ever going to get rid of it. <laughs> and I say, is it or not? And Lemon Fizz, another coat of, which just fills in any patchiness from my not very good application. So that is Lemon Fizz from Angel Kiss Now Lacquer. And I love this polish. I think it is fabulous. Just like the shimmery goodness in this little bottle. Ah, so beautiful. And it looks beautiful on the nail. So yeah, the the similar concept. Not anything alike. So yeah, that's all of the yellows, so we had a whole bunch of similars, but nothing is, there were no dupes in my yellow collection, basically. <laughs> so that is it for this video, if you want to see more, then click the subscribe button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos, and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.